We obviously, um, as representatives of South Africa, are greatly honored to have all of you here and for this what we believe is a historical event that is going to catch fire and, and, and spread all over the world where people will be bold, emboldened to uh, speak up for marriage and family the way God designed it. And so we're so grateful to, uh, to Brian Brown and David Lejeune, uh, Joe Grabowski and, and the rest of the team for choosing Cape Town to make this declaration. And I really believe it's significant because this is the first country in Africa that uh, legalized same-sex marriage against the will of the, the people. So without much further ado, I want you to put your hands together again for the leader of the International Organization for the Family, uh, Brian Brown, and then we're going to um, ask some of the representatives of the different regions to say a few words before we do the signing. Brian Brown. It's been such a blessing to be here in Cape Town, to be in South Africa. The, the weather, the people, the joy, the smiles, but most importantly, because we're gathered here around something so important, uh, so primordial, and that is the issue of family and marriage. We have people from all around the world, uh, different races, different creeds, different colors, who have divisions on all sorts of matters. They're of different political parties. They may debate all sorts of issues, but the thing that we're united on is that thing which is so fundamental, that thing which no government, no power can change. And that is that it is a beautiful truth that men and women are different and that they are designed for something pure and good, and that is marriage. And it's and our goal is to bring together people from all around the world. Leaders have already signed the Cape Town Declaration, but the vision is that in every country, every religion, every race, no matter where you are, all the people who understand the truth about marriage will sign it and be a public witness, not be silenced, not be cowed, not be ashamed. In the West especially, at times, there is a fear to stand up for this truth. We've seen examples of people persecuted for in their place of business, uh, in, their, uh, in, in any public space speaking this truth. A part of the reason the Declaration is so important is it's saying, no, we love you, but we must speak. We won't be silenced. The root of this declaration is that no matter where we are, no matter what our governments are doing, we in the West, that uh, our governments may have imposed same-sex marriage on our countries, we're saying, we don't want this to happen to you. We don't want our governments to go to other places and try and redefine the family there. And that you're not alone. Just because you live in a different country, it doesn't mean that all of us uh, in the West are somehow supporting this, this new view. We're not. We're together. And this, this agreement is something that I think can create a whole new movement around the world. A movement where it's beyond political party, beyond any division, a unity behind the family and marriage. We are declaring to the world that we believe in the institution of marriage as God created marriage. And on behalf of my beautiful country, South Africa, and the continent of Africa, I stand here to endorse and to support the Cape Town Declaration on Marriage. Our culture believes that marriage is between a man and a woman. And the scriptures that we believe in also teach that marriage is between a man and a woman. In spite of the fact that the South African Parliament has passed a Civil Union Act 2006, we are looking forward to the day when that act will either be amended 
or repealed. We are looking forward to the day when we will set an example for the continent of Africa. God bless you. Thanks, Cyril. David Van Gend. I'm a doctor from uh, Australia and represent the Australian Marriage Forum. We're one of the countries in the world which is uh, facing the challenge of changing the meaning of marriage. And I point to one line in this declaration that we stand for a truth that no government can change. That powerful line reminds us that marriage is not a social invention uh, that societies can cut to shape according to political fashion. Um, marriage is a social recognition of pre-existing reality, male, female and offspring. So in whatever culture we come from, uh, our marriage laws and our customs simply exist to reinforce that biological given, that foundation that the great anthropologist Claude Levi-Strauss talks of when he says uh, marriage is a social institution built on a biological foundation. So we say that no government no court, no national vote has the authority to change an institution that predates all government, predates all law, predates all religion. So we stand on that truth of male and female, of mother, father and child that is given us in nature, not by government, and no government can take away. So I commend this magnificent declaration to all of my friends back in Australia and all people around the world who want to assert and affirm this foundational truth of human life. Thank you very much. I hope today is a day that will embolden many people right across the globe who have felt uh, afraid and uh, that people will be emboldened further to speak up. Thank you. It's a privilege to be here. Next up to address you is uh, Alexei Komov of uh, uh, Russia, and you will say a few words. I'm happy to endorse and sign uh, the Cape Town Declaration on behalf of Russia, but uh, also uh, it's my pleasure to tell you that uh, um, a member of Russian parliament, our friend uh, uh, Viktor Zubarev, has also endorsed this uh, Cape Town Declaration and he was waiting for this moment of official launch to start promoting it uh, throughout Russia and the world uh, using the parliamentary channels uh, of the Russian Federation. And uh, he represents the, uh, the ruling United Russia Party, and he's a strong pro-family uh, uh, leader. You can be sure that uh, uh, Russian people are fully supporting uh, those things that are stated here, that marriage is the... Uh, is the key if we want to succeed in the future. So thank you very much, and I'm happy to sign this. Thank you. Hello, I'm coming from Croatia. I'm a medical doctor and mother of four, and I have uh, lived um, in a country where for 45 years we have had a totalitarian communist regime, which didn't recognize human rights, and didn't recognize the dignity of every human being, and that there is a natural law above every policy, above, above every, every country, something similar to the experience that many African countries have had. When this wall, Berlin Wall, fell and the communism collapsed after 45 years, you have had millions of people who knew that every human being has a dignity, millions of people who knew how to live in democracy. Where did all these people come from? They came from families, families which for 45 years, in spite of the totalitarian governments, taught their children the truth. Some of us live in countries where the law and the state protects marriage. Some of us live in countries where it does not yet. But we all have to continue to uh, fight for protection of marriage and family because this is the only future that human race has. Thank you. Like many other African countries, Cultural imperialism is something that's being imposed upon the peoples. And uh, just this past Tuesday, on the 6th of December, we had a citizens' march across all the 28 districts of the nation, declaring this truth 
that the natural family is one man and it's between a man and a woman. And uh, we stand in agreement to endorse the Cape Town Declaration on Marriage, trusting that as we start from here, the many that have never spoken shall now rise up to start to speak. Yeah. That nations, governments, parliaments, executives, or even the judiciary will have no right but leave it to the public to make a statement on what marriage is all about, man and a woman. Thank you. We are here to fight against a new totalitarianism, and uh, I'm very proud to be here and glad to be here with you to uh, stand with you to all this truth. No government can change the truth on marriage. Mm -hmm. And perhaps let me just uh, allow me to uh, say it in French for my fellow citizens. Nous sommes, uh, nous, Français, uh, des habitués à la résistance au totalitarisme, à la terreur, puisque depuis 200 ans, nous nous battons contre une version du, du gouvernement qui est une version euh, fausse, selon laquelle le gouvernement peut tout faire dans la société. Nous tenons une vérité profonde. Le gouvernement n'a aucun pouvoir sur la famille et sur le mariage. Et c'est pour ça que je suis fier de signer cette déclaration au nom de la France. Yes. Dedicated ourselves to the proposition that there are certain fundamental human truths. This is one of those core human truths that existed, as earlier said, before any law, before any government. Uh, it is both given to us by nature and nature's God, by revealed religion and also our, our, our own human reason. It is embedded in our nature as human beings that the institution of marriage between a man and a woman exists as the core cornerstone of civil society, and no society can long survive without it. I am so honored to be here with all of you today to sign this declaration. When 180 million people put pen to paper and put in their constitution, that marriage is a union between man and woman, then half the continent of Africa has said so. Federal Republic of Nigeria declares and supports the union of marriage as between man and woman. In all African societies, in all African traditions, before the advent of colonialism, before Christianity, before civilization, even in the time of savagery, marriage was between man and woman. So I endorse the Cape Town Declaration on behalf of all of us. I'm here speaking on behalf of not just Singapore, but on behalf of Asia. Being conservative societies, we have realized the strength of the family down the centuries. So we are committed to this declaration. And we are committed to spread the meaning behind this declaration in order that we protect the right of our next generation, that every child would have the right of having father and a mother brought up in a place where Relationships are honored, families are honored. And with that, I'm very glad to be able to sign this declaration. I'd like to say a few words in Chinese. We are here is not only to represent Singapore, but also to represent the whole of the world, and also to represent the whole of the world. We want to sign this declaration, to say that the natural marriage is definitely natural. 不是因为需要法律的资源，而我们天生就是这样。我们在这里就是有自然的爸爸和妈妈。我们要为着下一代的孩子们，给他们知道，他们应该有一个自然的爸爸和妈妈来照顾他们。所以，我在这里签的时候是要代表所有的亚洲人，我们要把这个宣言来推广。Yes, we are facing something that is totally artificial, post-truth. Any opinion is more important than the truth. 
It is not a microphone, but this is a bottle of beer. So Frank drink. <laughs> That's paradoxical situation, but this is one of the instruments used paradox and use uh, uh, joy for showing that this declaration is totally uh, true and uh, part of our life. Few words in the Latin, most close Latin language, the most historical common language in the world, so Italian. Grazie di tutto. È una grande opportunità per me. E firmerò questa dichiarazione a nome mio perché è parte della nostra vita e parte della nostra esperienza. Grazie ancora di questo onore. I'll sign that, I'll sign it any place, my family will, my organization of African Enterprise will. The, uh, the point there is very powerful, that the, the family has been the, the stabilizing influence of every single uh, strong society down through history.